What's going on, you guys? Coaster here, just talking about the uh, the game. That was really solid. Four nothing over the Blues. Uh, really, where to start is that they had a first scare. That one that nearly went in in the very beginning. Jones had to make a point blank stop. Oh, after that though, there was a genius pass and a shot from Tommy Wingles. Uh, Really, Peter DeBoer, I already said it in the other video, but he's not scared to play the fourth line. And if there's four lines of depth, rather than a fourth line being your energy line who plays, what, five minutes a game, if the fourth line plays a little bit more and say that they, they prove their worth, then that will be huge towards a whole game. When you look at fatigue and you look at energy, uh, if that fourth line can contribute, that is huge. And that's what happened uh, in that, that goal right there. They were rewarded. Uh, Second goal came at, in the second uh, the, off the power play. We got to thank Alexander Steen. He broke the stick. So the Sharks were against three and a half guys rather than four. It was a five on 3.5 power play. And Brent Burns blast one. What, what can you say? The puck took a good bounce. Uh, there was, they were trying to clear and they couldn't. And Burns had a wide open shot. He took, he made no mistake about it. Uh, power play, really good. Once again, uh, it also capitalized in the third period where Burns had that nice blast. Uh, it, it's really nice when the one-timer by Burns goes in. Hey, there's always the catch of him messing up on defense, but you know what he brings on offense, and he made up for it compared to game one. I really thought the first game, the Sharks just, there were a couple breaks that just didn't go their way. Uh, this time it did. The goal post helped a couple times. Uh, that was the ally of the Sharks for a couple shots in the game. Uh, really, the, the penalty kill. That's the one unit that killed it, literally, this game. Uh, there was that five on three in the third period. Uh, they were six for six on the penalty kill, and that's been a unit that's been shaky at times. They're inconsistent, but in this case, they, they destroyed this game, and that's why the Sharks were able to cruise and relax to a shutout victory. Uh, Martin Jones made a couple big saves he needed to, but he didn't have to do as much as well as the defense was doing on the ice. So. Very good game two win. Uh, I obviously going to San Jose is nice. It's going to get the monkey off the back of getting a road win outside of California because they haven't done that since Vancouver 2013. So it's been a while since I won a road game outside of the state, and finally they have. So that's good to see. Uh, just hope, obviously the home stand. Uh, we'll see what happens on home ice. Uh, the Sharks haven't lost there since that overtime game against the Kings. So we'll see what happens. Let me know what y'all think.